Hello, welcome to Text Me Quick. Text Me Quick is a mobile to business text messaging system that lets businesses build and maintain contact with more clients more effectively via text. Text Me Quick allows your existing business landline to accept, respond, and forward incoming text messages from any mobile device. This opens the lines of personal one on one communication via text, allowing you to maintain contact communicate with customers and employees on their terms, and provide better customer service. TextMeQuick goes beyond standard text message communication with features including TextMe Search Engine, TextMe Translate, TextMe Scheduler, and TextMe Pound Codes and Smart Codes. In this brief overview video, we will provide more information on these features and show you how to easily utilize each one, allowing you to begin using TextMeQuick in the most effective ways for your business. This tutorial is brought to you by the Miller Davis Agency. Here, you'll notice our login screen. Once you've typed in the phone number you'll be using, click Login to open up the console. Now, before we get started going over the console, I want to draw your attention to the top right hand corner of your screen. Here, you'll notice that there's an indicator light. I'm hoping that it's showing a green light, which means all connectivity to servers and networks are communicating properly. If you should see a red light, that's usually detecting network connection at the beginning of the session. If it's orange, that means it's initializing connection to our servers. A gray light means there's no network and there's no internet available. If you happen to see a black light, that means that the server connection has failed. A yellow light indicates that there's some internet connectivity issues and you'll want to get those checked out before proceeding. Now, let's get started understanding our console. I want to point out all of the buttons that you will see that will change your settings that will help you get around and also communicate effectively to those who are reaching out. If you would first draw your attention to the inbox, it's on the left hand side of the console. As an inbox states, it's where all of your inbound or received messages will come into from your DTN number or your digital texting number. First off, when a message comes in, it starts off in a bolded format. After a text message has been read, it goes to a normal format. It's our responsibility to answer those that have not been responded to in a timely manner. Therefore, we suggest when you have multiple users on the same console at different computers, whoever would see the bolded text first respond, offering great customer service and feedback. When you click on the search button, you can search by name or phone number. Let's go back. Now that we see all of our messages, you can see that we have a few that have been read already. And then there's two here that are still bold. First, let's check out the bottom one from Ray. And we can see all of the responses that have been given thus far. I don't want to go into too much detail here, but I do want to point out a few things. One, beside of Ray, you'll see a gold star. This gold star indicates the active message. Now I want to point out the text me scheduler function, which is a little calendar icon to the right of the text message. When you click the icon, it brings up a calendar. Like it stated, it's a scheduler. You can select a date, you can select a time, a priority, a title, and a description. Just beside of that is the text me translate function. When you click the text me translate function, which is this small T beside the calendar icon, what it will do is when you receive a message in a foreign language, it will then translate it to English on your screen. The cool thing about it is once you respond in English, it will then translate it back to the original language. If you would like to forward a message to somebody else, well then you can select to forward by clicking this little button here. So let's try it. I want to select to forward, and then I'm going to forward it to a contact that I have already built in my system. Simple as that. Now, say you're talking to Ray and you want to make a note just to remember something about the conversation. In this gray area here, you can make a note to save about Ray. Here, there are two main buttons that I want to bring to your attention. Number one is the gearbox or settings or options button. This is where you're going to configure your console to act and respond the way you wish. When you click this, you've got four things that you can configure, each of which has an on or off button. When somebody texts your business after hours, it will automatically send a response. 
When you click to configure, you can set up your hours for the week. And then, if somebody should text you after hours, you'd simply want to put in a message here. You type out the message, you click save, and when somebody texts you after hours, that's the message they're going to receive. I'm going to click back into the options and settings, and you've got three other things that you can do. You can set up an event schedule, you can do a pound code, or a group broadcast. Again, all these features will be in another tutorial that you can see in depth of how to set features up. The group broadcast button, which is this horn in the top right corner of your console, it brings up the message that you can type and the group that you'd like to send it to. Now, of course, you'd have to set these groups up first, but simply type in your text message here and broadcast it to any one of the groups that you have set up. We'd like to send a little warning here. We're not advocating spamming or mass marketing through text with this software. All we're saying is that we want to be able to communicate with a group of people in an emergency situation. If you've got to get a message out very quickly regarding your personnel, your clientele, or anybody that you would like in a group, this is where you'd want to do that. But please, keep that to an emergency situation only. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this tutorial. If you have any other questions, please contact us here at Miller Davis Agency. We look forward to speaking with you and seeing your business thrive with this new communication tool. Thanks again.